welcome to Body Fit Core. I hope you're all well this evening. The sun has finally come out today. Thank goodness, right? It's almost the weekend. It's almost here. So welcome to South Downs Leisure Body Fit Core, our first Thursday evening um, Body Fit Core class. I am Sam. If you don't know me, welcome. So whilst we wait until 5.30 kickoff, a couple of things. You're just going to need a mat. You might want to grab a towel as well, um, and you might want to grab a drink. There we go. Nothing's far away here in this place. So you just need those things. You just need enough space on your mat, and you might want to lie it out long if you want to. These ones are always too long for me because I'm only a little diddly person. Anyway... Um, so that's all you're going to need. We're going to warm ourselves up in our core and then we've got just four sets of exercises that we're going to work through. I will set you up for success with all of those exercises, making sure that we switch our core on and get working as I know we all really want to do. Let me just lift this up a little bit so you can see if I stand up. There we are. That's a bit better. Um, as always, um, at the end of each session, we ask, drop some feedback, um, any questions or comments on to the South Downs Leisure Facebook page um, and also our Instagram page. Um, we are looking to continuously develop the offering of classes that we've got for everyone. So we can offer something for everyone. And we have classes every morning and every evening. Um, same class in the morning as is in the evening. So if you joined me this morning for abs and core and you really wanted a little bit more, we're doing the same as what we did this morning. And we'll do that for a couple of weeks. Let's see what happens. How long are we going to be doing this? I don't know. And we'll start to adapt and develop again on behalf of South Downs more of what we're doing. So grab some music. That's something you guys are going to need to do as well. You're going to need to grab music. So pop some music on that's going to motivate you. It might just be something light in the background. It might be some really great tunes that you think, yes, this is going to make me want to move. And then I'll cue you in for all of the exercises and set us up for what we're going to be doing. I'm Sam. If you've just joined us, this is Body Fit Core. So grab yourselves a mat and grab yourselves a drink and a towel if you want it and just make sure you've got space to work safely and effectively. Lord knows I'll probably end up kicking something but your safety is really paramount. Work to your own fitness level. So again I will give options to intensify what we're doing. And then there might be some regression options so that you can just dial it down, making sure that, again, you're working safely and effectively, listening to your body and what it is able to do. As I'm not there to see you and to see what you're doing and to make those adjustments. So we've got four sets of exercises that we will work through. We kick off in a couple of minutes time. So, yeah, we're bringing our workouts from our home to your home. Thursday is our core day. So we've got 30 minutes of core. And if you fancy doing something else afterwards, rather than sitting outside, perhaps having a glass of something cold and fizzy, um, you can join me at quarter past six for Body Balance, our flexibility option. So Body Balance, Les Mills program that you may or may not be familiar with is a stretch and flow, a mixture of Tai Chi, yoga and Pilates. But that's, that's later. Now... This is body fit core, so we're going to get into our core. So working through everything. So working through the front of our core, upper and lower abs, as well as our back to strengthen as well. There's some shoulders involved too. So again, we can stay nice and strong in here. So I make it 5.30. So I'm going to pop my music on so that I can hear it. Now you guys are not going to be able to hear this, but don't panic. It's just so that I've got the timers and I can hear what we're doing. And it's kind of strange because I know that you guys can't hear what it is that I'm doing. So pop your music on and you guys can get yourselves ready. And then come on down onto the mat. So let's talk about core control. Lying down flat on your mat or whatever it is that you've got that's between yourselves and the cold. Or slightly scratchy floor. Feet flat, knees bent. So tuck the tailbone ever so slightly and pull the belly button in and up. 
and you should get a nice connection between your lower back and the mat. That's core control, and we want to make sure that we do that. That's going to protect our back and ensure we keep the work through our core at the front. So let's start here. So bringing your hands up to your temples, bracing the core, shoulders back and down. So brace everything nice and strong, relax the neck. We start with a two-two sit up. So coming up for two and down for two. Lifting the shoulders and taking the gaze between the knees. That's it, slide the ribs to the hips. Keep the elbows wide and the chin tucked to the chest. So let's start to warm through. You're gonna see some of these coming up later on. Shoulders down, we're gonna double leg lift. So lift up the legs so they're parallel to the floor and tap down, lifting up and tapping down. So bring the knees over the hips, tap the toes down nice and softly. Hands to temples, cross crawl. So rotate through the center of the body. That's it. So elbows wide and you're drawing the opposite elbow towards the opposite knee. Chin stays nice and tucked, we're gonna pulse. So come to the front, pulse, and then to the back, and add a little pulse. And each time you pulse, just try and lift that opposite shoulder a little further across. Toes tapping lightly. One more, feet come down, shoulders down. Slide the heels towards your bum, and we're gonna come into a hip bridge. So draw the shoulders down, press into the heels, lift the hips up nice and high bracing the core and we're just going to have a little pulse here so drop halfway and lift up this is our hip bridge so squeezing the glutes pressing down into the heels chin tucking into our chest one more that's it roll down hands to temples and we're going to start those exercises again so pull down the belly draw into the spine elbows wide Toes just touching lightly, and we start with that two-two crunch. So coming up for two, and then down, that's it. So just lifting and lowering. So keep the breath flowing in and out. And as you breathe out, press the lower back down, shoulders down, legs lift up, up, down, down. So your shins come parallel to the floor, shoulders are drawn away from your ears, and we tap the floor lightly. Back to that cross crawl, hands to temples and cross over. So you can start to make it bigger if you want, extending the legs to 45. Slide the ribs to the hips. Four, three, two, one, hold. That's your warm up done. So we've just warmed through the core, a little bit of a flavor of what we've got coming. So set one, we've got one minute of work broken into three exercises and we're gonna do that four times. So we've got 30 seconds of a sit up that we saw in that first warm up, 20 seconds of a double leg lift and then we've got 10 seconds where we're gonna hold up into a C crunch position. That's exercise one, set one. Exercise two, shoulders down is a reverse curl. So feet come up, legs lift, so your knees come towards your chest and we've got a reverse curl, lifting the tailbone up. That's 30 seconds of work. Then we've got 20 seconds, reaching to the ankles, resetting to the forehead touches. And then 10 seconds, reaching up, crunching into the center. And we repeat those two sets again. Two sets of exercises with a break in between. Let's get ready. So feet down, hands to temples. 30 seconds of crunches. So draw the belly in, pull the belly button up and connect the lower back. Down to the mat, 30 seconds. Here we go. So lifting and lowering, 30 seconds of effort. Pressing the heels down and lifting the shoulders. So you're not trying to pull yourself up with your neck, so relax the neck by tucking the chin and just come up as high as you can. So working to your own abilities, sliding the ribs into the hips, crunching through that centre of the core. Straight into our double leg lift, here we go. So shoulders come down, 
and we lift those legs so the shins are parallel. 20 seconds here, shoulders away from the ears, so anchor through your upper body as you work the lower body. And you can take this intensity higher by tapping the toes further away. Are we ready to crunch up? Crunch up and hold for 10 seconds, that's it. So shoulders lift, knees over hips, right angle to the legs, reach to the ankles and release. Okay, that's your break. First set done. So draw the shoulders down and you're gonna bring the legs up and we come into a reverse curl. Now, if you wanna have your hands flat, you can do. 30 seconds, reverse curl, lifting the tailbone. Here we go, 30 seconds, lifting and lowering. So keep a bend in the knee if it helps and just push down against your upper body. If you want an option, you can bend the knees so that you just reduce the lever and that's gonna reduce the intensity. So drawing the knees over the chest as opposed to driving them up. A reverse curl working our lower abs. 30 seconds, that's up. So keep the feet up, reach and lower. Reach and lower. Option, reach to the ankles and lower. Again, bring the, the knees down if you want an option or reaching up, keeping that core braced, nice and tight, and we're ready to hold, that's it, 10 seconds, hold up, reach up, see if you can reach for your ankles, tuck your chin, pull yourselves up nice and strong, and hold, big breath, Ooh. don't hold your breath, breathe through it, feet come down, and we repeat those two sets again, and then round one is done, so feet flat, Breathe, pull the belly in, hands to temples, and we lift and lower. Here we go, 30 seconds again. 30 seconds effort in our sit-ups. So this time, seeing if you can lift a little higher, see if you can bring those ribs down towards your hips a little closer. Looking to work into our upper abs, sliding down, keeping the feet down, lifting and lowering the shoulders. Breathing in and out. Okay, shoulders down, lower body moves. So lift and lower those toes. So bring the legs up parallel with the floor and that option to extend further away is gonna increase the intensity in the lower abs. Keep the lower back pulled down, bracing down. Are we ready to pulse? Up and hold. Up and hold, that's it, reach to the ankles. Tuck your chin. Take a look between your knees at your toes. And release. Three out of four done. So take a breather, relax. Grab a drink when you need to. If you're just joining us, we're about to finish round one. So make sure you're warm. Or reverse curl, shoulders down. 30 seconds, reverse curl. Here we go, lift and lower. So it's just a little lift and you control it as you come back down. Option is just to bring the knees towards the chest rather than driving them up. And it's about that control, working that lower back down into the mats and relaxing the shoulders and the neck. That's it, lifting. And remember, we're just here and we're ready for set X1. Reach to the ankles and lower. So reaching up and then just touch the head lightly down. This is working our upper and lower abs as we brace in this position. Squeeze the glutes and the quads and that's gonna help. Are we ready to lift up? Lift up, reach to the ankles, that's it. Reach up, point the toes if you can. Woo, three, two, one one hold hug the knees into the chest you get a minute's rest have a little look at what we've got coming guys set two another four rounds working a minute at a time our new exercises set one of our exercises you get to break i get to brief knees over your hips shoulders down single leg extensions, extending legs out, 
then 20 seconds straight into a double leg extension and then 20 seconds extended at 45 scissoring. Your option is a single toe tap and then a double toe tap and you can keep your knees bent. You've also got the option to do these on your forearms. 20 seconds of each, shoulders back and down, single leg extensions, here we go. 20 seconds, single leg extensions, four sets, and I've not even told you what our second set is. So extending the legs to 45, that's it. Pressing out, pressing the lower back down. Straight into double legs, so two legs. So extend both legs and then draw back to 90. Extending out, your option is that double toe tap. Just 20 seconds, you're halfway through this and then we come into our scissor leg. You've got the option to come up and then we extend to 45 and then scissor. So you scissor one leg over the other. You might be on your forearms. You might be bent with knees. You might have full extension. Everyone pull the lower back in and we're almost there, almost through our first set here. Two, one, hold. Hug the knees in and roll over to plank. We've got a 20 second plank hold, followed by a 20 second toe tap, followed by a spider crawl. So set the elbows under the shoulders, come into plank position ready. Shoulders over elbows, knees or toes, and we're gonna hold plank for 20 seconds and then add intensity thereafter. So come into plank, 20 seconds, hold your plank guys. Pull the belly to the spine, draw the shoulders away from the ears and squeeze your glutes. On the knees if you wish. And then when I say go, we are gonna tap our toes front and back. Tapping out, keeping hips square. Off we go, tap the toes. So keep the hips square, press down into the forearms. Take a break when you need to. And if you're on the knees, you're still tapping out. That's it. So pull the core in nice and tight. And then let me demo when I say so, we're gonna bring the knees towards the elbows. Off we go. So keeping the hips down, draw the knees round towards the elbows. That's it. So if you're on your knees, it looks like this. Halfway there. Yes, a one minute plank hold, but it's distracting because we've got other things going on. Oh, stop, roll over. Back to step one. How are you feeling? It's warm in here. Rolling down guys, coming back to our leg extensions. So one more minute here, knees over ankles, knees over hips, sorry. Ankles and legs parallel to the floor. Shoulders down, or you might be up on your forearms. Here we go, single leg extensions. So this is an option. It's just gonna take some of the stress out of the lower back and it just helps if we've got any issues with lower back and it's a great pregnancy option too. So extend out, single legs, and then straight into double legs. Here we go, double leg extensions. Now you don't have to extend far. The lower you take the legs, the more intense you're gonna make it and you might be toe tapping and you can tap near or far away. Again, extending out, 20 seconds, scissor. So tuck the chin and draw the shoulders down. Press the forearms down if you're up on your forearms. Press the lower back in if you're lying down. Scissor the legs, 10 seconds to go, guys. 10 seconds, almost there. Three, two, one, hold. 30 seconds rest. Come on over, we've got one minute of exercise. One minute left in set two, so set your plank position. I'll come round and face you guys. Elbows under your shoulders, so you've got a nice strong base. Draw your shoulders away from your ears, on your knees or on your toes. So pull the belly into the spine and come into plank. Here we go, 20 seconds, let's just hold our plank. So really think, from our shoulders 
relaxed, drawing down into our forearms, to our belly, pulled in strong to the back, glutes and quads squeeze to keep the hips nice and square, pressing out through your heels, and now we tap one side, then the other. That's it, you can see my toes tapping side to side, so your body stays completely still. On the knees if you need to, and come up, take a break, and take a breather when you need to. Okay, bring those knees round to your elbows. So I'm on my knees now, alternating, bringing them round towards my elbows, bracing the core or on your toes. Halfway there. Oh, just 10 seconds to go, guys. Two, one, hold. Come down. <sighs> Round two, done. We're halfway there. Halfway. So, set three. We've got 45 seconds of work. 15 seconds break. Six sets. Time flies when you break it down. Our first exercise is a cross crawl. I'm gonna come this way to face you. First exercise, a cross crawl. So crossing across or extending. Exercise two, side hover, elbow under shoulder, on the knee, lifting up through the waist. Then exercise three, we come down, knees bend, and we crunch into 45 working into our upper waist. Then we do it on the other side. 45 seconds of cross crawl. Reset the core, brace, hands to temples. Let's go. Cross crawl. So toe tapping, elbows wide. Start here guys. We've got two sets of cross crawls. So get that rotation, that's really important. Lifting the shoulder up and drawing it across the center line of the body. Hips staying square as you take it from the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Making sure your lower back is pulled down strong. When you're ready, you can start to extend 45 into a bicycle crunch. Keep the core braced. You're almost there, nearly there. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one, hold. Come into side hover, guys. So roll towards me, elbow under shoulder, knee to the ground, top leg long. We ready? Lifting up, that's it, lift that hip. So pushing the knee down, square your shoulders and hips towards me, imagining I've got a pane of glass either side of you. So reach up through the shoulder, pushing down, that's it. Great job, so lift up, imaginary ribbon, lifting your waist halfway. If you wanna add intensity, lifting that top leg, squeezing the glute. Yeah, we're gonna work slightly lower down into our glutes and start to engage our posterior chain. So reach up, that's it. Keep the waist lifted, that's the important thing. Pop the toe down if you lose that. Three, two, one. Hold, come onto the meaty part of your bottom cheek. Elbows under shoulder again, knees bend, and they're gonna come to 45 as we crunch in and extend. So extending out, crunching in. So they crunch in 45 degrees towards me, crunching in, working into our top waist here. That's it reaching longer. Now if you want to reach longer, you can take the arm further away and you want to stay on that butt cheek halfway there. That's it. Draw the knees up and in, extending. Option is to place the bottom knee down and just work with the top leg. That's it. We are working into our waistlines here. Good job. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Guys, spin round. Spin round if you can, or remember which side you've just done. Cross crawl. 45 seconds, here we go. Let's go, quick change. 
We are in set four of six of round three. And when you're ready, that's right, when you're ready, start to extend. Controlled movement. So we're not trying to speed this. It's control. Opening through the chest and pressing that lower back down. You want that core control that's going to work through the front of our abs. We are going to have fab abs. Thursday, core day. That's what we want. That's it. Reach across. Breathe. Feeling good. Three, two, one, team. Come on over. Roll towards me. Remember, other side. Elbow under shoulder. Knee bent. We take it up. Breathe up. Up we go. So square, shoulders and hips, panes of glass. Two panes of glass either side of you. You might find one side feels stronger than the other. So pull the belly in. Imagine lifting up underneath, lifting that top hip up and press up right the way through your fingertips. Option to extend that top leg if you want. So you've got these options to intensify if your level is there. Bring it down if you don't want to and bring it down if you lose that control through the waist. Breathe in, press down into the ground. Squeeze the glutes to keep the hips nice and square. Hold. Come on down. Keep the elbows set under your shoulder. Come onto the meaty part of your bottom cheeks. Knees bend. Ankle. That's it. So reach in. 45 seconds, guys. We've got this. We are cruising into our final set. Draw the knees in and crunch in. Extend over if you want to extend more. And then take it here if you want just to do that one leg. Regression option, up to you. What does it feel today? What feels good? That's what you've got to think about. So keep the chest lifted. Keep breathing nice and strong. And working into our top waistline here. Lifting up to keep that chest. Pressing down into this elbow. That's it, reach to the ankle, reach to the ankle, draw the knees in, two, one, hold. Oh, sets three done, one to go. You've got a minute's rest. Grab a drink when you need to guys, grab a drink when you need to. Our final set of exercises. We've got hip bridges, dead bugs, Birds to dogs, yep. And then we've got some dorsal salutes. 30 seconds of work with 15 seconds off. So there's eight rounds all together. Set our hip bridge up first of all. So roll down onto your backs. Pull the belly button in strong and slide the heels towards your bottom. Shoulders back and down and our first set of 30 seconds of work is gonna be a pulsing hip bridge. So feet down, heels down, and you want your knees, hips, and feet all parallel. Up we go, 30 seconds. Take it up into a hip bridge and pulse down halfway. So push down into your heels, squeeze the glutes, and tuck your chin to your chest, just like we did in the warm up. So push into your heels, shoulders press down, and then elbows are down as well. So arms pressing down, heels pressing into the ground, squeezing the glutes, taking the hips nice and high. Three, two, one, roll it down. So we're gonna do the same in a hip bridge and we're gonna walk our heels up whilst we're holding our hips square. That's set two. Are we ready? Roll up to hip bridge and then front leg, back leg. So walking the heels, and I want you to really focus on keeping those hips super square. That's right. So walk the heels. This is gonna start to work into our quads. Squeeze the glutes to keep the control through the hips. Halfway there. Walking, lifting and lowering those heels, pressing down into our shoulders. 
three, two, one, roll down. Bring your knees over your hips, guys, and your arms up. Dead bug, so you're gonna extend the front leg and the back arm out, and we're gonna alternate that. Here we go, front arm, back leg, front arm, back leg, that's it. Opposite arm and leg, extending out, drawing the belly in and down, and just take it down. You can feel that bite, yeah? That's it, I can feel that too. Breathe into it. Keeping the hands above the shoulders, knees above the hips. Four, three, two, one. We've got one more set doing just this, guys. So draw your shoulders down, pull the belly down, press the hips down, and we're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg. Here we go. A bit of coordination here as well. So reaching those legs and arms out long, and again, the lower down you take it, the more intense you're gonna find this work. And when we're done with this, we're gonna come over onto our front. Woo! Great exercise, this one. Draw the belly down. How are we feeling? Four, three, two, one. Guys, roll over, come on over. Front arm, back leg, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna extend front arm, back leg, and then draw knee to elbow underneath. Here we go, 30 seconds, knee to elbow, extending arm and leg long. Breathing out as we reach long, breathe in as we crunch in. Drawing the belly button in, pressing down into the hands, same arm, same leg. Drawing in, that's it, breathe in and out. Keep pressing down, two, one, hold. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, I come to face you this time. Other arm and other leg extend long, gaze down, draw belly in, that's it, knee to elbow. Same arm, same leg, different to last one though. Reach long. So we're working all the way from our shoulders all the way through our back to keep that spine nice and long, all the way down to our hip. Halfway there, reach out long and then crunch into centre. Three, two, one. Come down onto your bellies. Hands to temples, squeeze your glutes, feet together and down. Hands to temples, squeeze the glutes and we're gonna lift and lower the chest. 30 seconds, that's it, lift and lower. Lifting the chest and drawing down through your back. So keep the glutes squeezed to protect your lower back and keep the legs down. Lift and lower. Strengthening through our back muscles, part of our core. That's it, keep breathing. Two, one, hold. Pop your hands down, pop your head on your hands. This time you're gonna squeeze your glutes and you're gonna kick your legs. Imagine you're on the beach on a lilo, forehead to hands, and flutter kick the legs, that's it, kick quick. So if you can, lifting your quads off the floor, kicking the feet super quick, squeeze the glutes, keep the forehead down, and kick the legs as quick as you can. Imagine, imagine we're on holiday, you're swimming up to that all-inclusive bar. Almost there. Keep breathing and hold, you are done, well done. Pop your hands under your shoulders and come up into child's pose. So take the knees wide, bring the hips down over the heels and extend the arms, just reach out the back. And just sit the hips back and down, stretch on out, bring the forearms down, forehead down. 
take a big breath in. Oh. Well done, guys. So bring the hands under your shoulders, your knees under your hips. Take a big breath in. Arch the back up. So just round through the spine, pushing down into the ground. Tuck the chin to the chest and then draw a breath. That's it. Draw the belly down, open out through the chest. Breath in. Exhale. Come on up, reach up. That's it, reach up, extend. If you wanna bring your hands round to your hips, just draw your shoulders down and just open up through the front of the core of the belly. And give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you all very much for joining me. I'm Sam. That was Body Fit Core every Thursday, 8 till 8.30 and 5.30 till 6.00. From my home to your home, South Downs Leisure, keeping you active. Pop your feedback, any questions, comments, etc. on our Facebook page and our Instagram as well. All welcome. Let us know what you thought. We can build and we're looking to enhance and get more on our timetables for you guys. And watch out because we're going to start to upload some of our workouts so you can do them another time if you can't make our live sessions. Thank you very much. That's all from me this evening. Unless you want to jump on at quarter past six and join me for 45 minutes of body balance. Thank you all very much. Have a great Thursday evening. And maybe I'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock for our body fit strength. Body weight, no need for any equipment. Body weight exercises. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.